Prescription drug abuse is still a killer in San Diego County. That's the gist of the county's second annual prescription drug abuse report card. The report card looks at several indicators such as unintentional deaths, ER visits and others. It found that prescription drug and heroin use increased over the last five years and emergency room visits due to painkillers were up 61 percent. The number of students reporting prescription drug abuse has increased and the number of juveniles and adults reporting prescription drug misuse also increased. I'm surprised not only how big the problem is, but how it seems to continue to grow and why it's so important to do everything possible. And that's what we're here today talking about, is working together with all the available resources, the DEA, the sheriff, the district attorney, to try to address this problem. It's easy to get drugs out of your grandparents or your parents' home. Kids are taking them uh, and they're bringing them together with other kids in schools. So what we need to do is educate our kids about the problems, educate parents about the issue, and get people to get rid of those drugs and dispose of them in these drug tape back uh, days that we have. It's a gigantic education program, not just a law enforcement problem. We're working with schools, health care officials, trying to get the word out that just because these pills come out of a pharmacy doesn't make them all right. It's a, it's a, it's a drug. Uh, and what we're seeing all too many times, especially with our youth, is they get hooked on Oxycontin, which is nothing more than synthetic heroin, and it's very expensive. You can pay $68 for one pill. So what we see them switching then to heroin, because it's the same high and it's cheaper. Prescription drug collection boxes are available at all sheriff stations and substations. For a list of locations and hours, visit sdsheriff.net. In the County News Center, I'm Dominic Fulgoni.